Hey guys, Mr. Light is here with Broken Sword. Blimey, we're on to what I haven't done in ages. Anyway, we are in Ireland looking for something related to the manuscript. Let's start by talking to this fine young kid here. Hi there. Probably not a good idea. What? What's your name, kid? Who are you calling, kid? Who the hell are you? Um. I'm George Stobart, and I'm with the good guys. You're a head case, mister. Really? A few sandwiches short of the picnic. Cut the crap and tell me your name. Liam McGuire. What are you doing hanging around the bar, McGuire? I'm on the run from me dad. Why? Did you do something bad? I ain't done nothing, boss. You can tell me, kid. Is it your dad? Oh, sir. He drinks every last penny down his evil throat. And there's me poor old mother, bedridden and dying of presumption. I tried to buy her medicine. Chopped firewood for father Mahoney till me fingers fled. The Why old does this skin seem excessive? Cheated me too, but I took the pennies he gave me back home. Look, ma, says I, see what your darling son has earned with his own sweat and blood. When suddenly, me dad appears and grabs the loot. I'm off to Dublin, heavy drinking, says he. Watch out till I get back. That's why I runned away. Something in the grin on his face told me he wasn't being strictly... I thought so! Compared to him, Huckleberry Finn was a candidate for Altar Boy of the Year. Ah, oh, blimey. Right, let's see what we can do. What can you tell me about the castle, McGuire? What do you want to know? Well, can I get inside? No, it's locked up. Does anyone live there? No, only... What? Oh, nothing. You know something about the castle you're not telling me, don't you? Uh, well, you really ask this kid? No. What is it you're covering up? Is it something you're scared of? I ain't scared of nothing. I'll give you one last chance to tell me about the castle. Oh, yeah? And what if I don't? Then I'm taking you back to school. Oh, there's a ghost. It's called... The Phantom Aloch Man. Oh, you got me, kid. We got ghosts now? You're not telling me you believe in ghosts, are you? Mister, I seen it with me very own eyes. Last Tuesday night, I went up to see what that dig was about. I just reached the top of the wall when I hears this awful noise. What sort of noise? A horrible snuffling and snorting. Like O'Brien's pig, only worse. It was coming from inside the castle. You sure that was a ghost? Did you find out what was making the noise in the castle? No fear. I just sat there on the wall like Humpty Dumpty. The moon was cracked and greasy like an old dinner plate. The yard was full of shadows that could have been hiding anything. I would have gone home, but my legs had lost their stuffing. Did you get to see the ghost? Indeed I did. And a fearsome sight it is too. I sat on the ass, waited while the moon went down. Then out he comes. Why have I got a feeling he's making this up? Grey and tattered and hunched over like an old bent willow. Then I hears this spluttering and splashing and horrible laughter in the dark. I was so scared. Why I fell off the bloody wall. I'm sure there's a rational explanation for what you saw at the cabin. I'm with George on this one. There is. The bloody place is haunted. That's not rational. Have you seen a guy dressed as a clown? Here in Loch Marne, they all dress like clowns. The man I'm looking for is a dangerous psychotic. Jesus. It's just like that film I saw. Did this clown see? And he's after this kid who saw him kill a guy. He tries to warn the sheriff, only no one believes him. Yeah, like you. While he's in the tub, the clown cuts him up with a chainsaw. 
My God, that doesn't sound suitable for a kid like you. Who are you calling a kid? I'm 25. Yeah, right. You're not a day over 14. Oh, no, it's 25 that I am. Married with a car and three kids. Ten kids if you count the wives. Oh, for heaven's sake. See you later, kid. Okay, mister. Seriously, forget that guy. I really think he's an idiot. Does he honestly think he can tr fool George? Considering George is pretty good at fooling a lot of people for some reason. You'll see what I mean in, while we're here in Ireland. So we got a bunch of people just sitting around. So let's see, who do we want to talk to? Well, actually, so I want to talk to this guy first to get out of the way. Because honestly, we don't need to talk to this guy again. So I just talk to him now and get all the conversation done. Hi there, old timer. Wow. What? Nasty cold you've got there. As soon as the words left my lips, I regretted them. Is there such a thing as a cold which isn't nasty? I put the question to Father Mahoney. Father, says I, why were we born to suffer snot? What did he say? He said, it's my reward for being out all night like a sinner. Oh, jeez, really? Pious prig. Anyway, this is no ordinary cold. It is the hay fever. Polynosis? Thank you. You're not a policeman, are you? Excuse me? Police? No. I'd know it if you were. Why are you saying that? Can you tell me how to get into the castle? Don't even think about it, me bucko. Lockbarn Castle is haunted. That's what the kid outside told me, but I don't believe it. Then you're a fool. Are you kidding me? Have you ever seen the ghost? To be sure. With me very own eyes. Can you describe the ghost? It was horrible. A wee stunted beast. Long beak. Straggly, flappy wings. Are you sure it wasn't a wild animal? A rabbit or a skunk or something? Skunk? In Lochmarn? That'll be the day. Honestly, I'd be more understand no, if it was an animal. That was a ghost, to be sure. I think I know what you saw on the castle wall. I know what I saw. I don't think so. It was the kid, McGuire. What? He was up on the wall last Tuesday night. He thought you were the Phantom of Lochmarn. Oh. Oh, what? Oh, that is insane. Ghosts don't bother me. I still want to visit that castle. You can't. It's not open to the public. There's no one around to stop me, is there? That's right. Nothing human, anyhow. Oh, not that again. Can I buy you a beer? Very kind, I'm sure. But I don't drink the stuff Leary sells. What's wrong with it? I've seen what it can do. Oh, wow. I'll see you later. Now... If I recall correctly, any minute now. Ah, uh, it. Bingo! As soon as the old guy looked away, I grabbed his piece of wire. Right, so I got that. That's gonna be necessary. Now, let's talk to these fine gentlemen over here who are drinking at the bar. Hi, my name's Stobart, George Stobart. Hello there, mister. What can I do for you? A lot, actually, because we're here on a mission. Can you tell me anything about the castle on the hill? Oh, I don't know much about anything. You should ask Mr. O'Brien here. He does joined up writing. <laughs> Would you be one of them history fellows yourself? Uh, yes. That's right. Professor Stobart, Miskatonic University. You're an archaeologist. And you're asking us about the castle. Excuse me, Mr. O'Brien. The gentleman was talking to me. 
How come you didn't leave with the others? I didn't know they'd gone. Oh, yes. Packed their spades and shovels and away they went. Seems I missed all the excitement. What excitement? Wait, so what? Yeah, what exactly happened here? Do you know anything about Pegram's excavation? Only that he didn't have the right tools for the job. What he needed was shovels and a JCB. Pegram was digging for historical remains, not coal. Is that a fact? What the hell for? Here's the science of archaeology, Pat. Understanding how people used to live by what they've left behind. One day, archaeologists might be digging up our remains. Oh, that'll be interesting. Mr. O'Brien, I wonder what they'll find. Well, it won't be arrowheads and beakers. Fast food cartons and flavoured condoms, more likely. Okay. Did anyone from the village work at Pegram's Dig? I tried it myself, but that high and mighty history man called me incontinent. What a nerve. Hadn't I dug more holes than the rest of them put together? Um, really? You really did that? Is it true that Pegram found a valuable gem? What? First I heard of it. Hey, where have you been, Pat? <laughs> For that gem is the talk of every town from Loch Man to Ballydoon. Nobody told me. The lucky sod. So that's why he scampered. Oh, yeah. So we missed him. Bye for now. Well, that's typical. Then let's talk to O'Brien. Hello there. Uh, my name's George Stobart. Pleased to meet you, I'm sure. I'm O'Brien. Uh, can I help you? Hey, he seems friendly. What can you tell me about the castle, Mr. O'Brien? It's a fine sight now, isn't it? Dates back to the 10th century, you know. Most of the existing building was added much later, of course. Are the ruins open to the public? Oh, no, it's much too dangerous. Anyway, there's nothing of interest remaining. I wonder about that. Can you tell me about the tripod which was found at the castle? Now, there's a bone of contention and controversy. It was dug up by an Englishman of the archaeological persuasion. Who was this Englishman? Professor Pegram. The same man who dug up... He the dug up both? Do you know where I can find Pegram? You're too late to meet that fella. Is he dead? Not that. But he's gone from the village. A sore point with our esteemed host, I might add. Why is Pegram's departure upset the landlord? He's lost a paying guest. That's why. More than that, there's the question of an unsettled bill. Well, that can be oh, worrying. I've seen red over the business, and I don't blame him. Can you tell me more about the landlord? Mick Leary? He's what you call a, a would-be sophisticate. The trouble is, his idea of sophistication extends as far as putting paper in the lavatory. I never worked out why he did that. It's much too dark in there to read. That's true. Have you ever run your hand over the back of the door? The graffiti is written in Braille. You sure you won't be talking about the market when he's standing right next to you? Do you know where Pegram has gone? I'm sorry, but I don't. He hoped anchor in the dark and shipped out before the dawn. And why did he do that? Who knows? A guilty conscience or a secret assignation. Whatever the reason, he'll not be missed in Loch Mann. Maybe now the fuss about the gem has died down. We can get back to normal. Well, that's one thing. What can you tell me about the gem which Pegram found? Now, there's a gem which should never have been taken. A man would have to be full of greed to covet that stone. What's your interest in the jewel? You're not a reporter, are you? Uh, no. Oh, no. Thank the Lord for that. Have you heard of the Phantom? More than that, I've seen it. And let me tell you, it's a dreadful spectacle. So it's not just a local legend. There really is a Phantom of Loch Marne. Oh, no. I was talking about the Phantom of the Opera. What? Really? Bye for now. Well, that was rather in weird. Right, let's talk to the barkeep. Top of the morning to you. 
Oh, brother George! I beg your pardon. Well, that's what you Irish say, isn't it? Do you want something? Or are you just flaunting your xenophobia? Well, I, I was trying to be sociable. <laughs> Is it a room you're after? That's not a bad idea. Do you have a vacancy? I could, if you don't mind waiting until the last guest checks out. No problem. When will that be? When the undertaker comes to collect him. Uh, what? Do you know a man called Pegram? Indeed I do. Are you a friend of his, by any chance? No way! Oh no, I'm just trying to track him down. Me too. That son of a bitch should be locked away. Oh, what'd he do? Did Pegram stay here? That's right. In the best room in the house. That's the one with the bed. You have one room with a bed. Wow. Can I see Pegram's room? It's been taken by one of the brothers from the reformatory. They come every year for spiritual refreshment. That's a good one. Their idea of refreshment is a good full of stout. I wouldn't want to disturb a man of God. Especially not a big fella from the bad boy's home. I don't blame you, Mick. That brother's got muscles like a muscle man. Obviously. Have you served any, uh, clowns recently? No. You're the first today. Seriously. I'm looking for a man dressed in a clown costume. Uh, would he be having a little white dog with a black patch over the eye? I shouldn't think so. Where'd that come from? What can you tell me about the castle? You're the second person to ask me that today. I don't know anything about the castle. It's only an old drone anyway. Who else was asking about the castle? He said he was a reporter. He was asking about the little people. I could have told him a tale or two about the little people. He might have paid me to hear what he wanted me to say. Anyway, I chucked him out on his arse. Ah, go figure. Good for you, Mick. That's the way to deal with journalists. I'll try a glass of beer, please. Is this your first pint of real ale? Uh, well, I guess so. What's real ale, anyhow? Beer that's brewed from natural ingredients to traditional methods. It shouldn't be kept under pressure or refrigerated. And finally, it should have a good body and distinctive character. In other words, it's flat and warm with bits in it, and it makes you fall over. You're kidding, right? Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna probably regret this. Somehow, I'd managed to drink the thick, sweet brew. I felt strangely compelled to order another, even though my every instinct warned me against it. <laughs> 